Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, our lesson is about relation and function, and this is your teacher, Marifi Adonis. All right, so here are the essential questions that we are need to answer. So first, um, what is a function? What are the characteristics of a function? How do you determine if, if a relation is a function? How is a function different from a relation? Why is it important to know which variable is independent variable? Okay, so here are some uh, definitions that we need to consider. A relation between two variables, x and y, is a set of ordered pairs. An ordered pairs consist of x and y coordinate. A relation may be viewed as ordered pairs, mapping design table, equation, or written in sentences. Okay? So x values are input, independent variable, or also known as domain. The y values are output, the dependent variable as also known as range. So, let's have example number one. Matt, what makes this a relation? Alright, and then let's answer what is the domain and what is the range. So, what is the domain in this relation? So, we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as our domain. And, of course, our range is negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. Now, for example, number two, is there a relation? So, for the input here, we have four, negative five, zero, nine, and six. Uh, negative one, I mean, and then, of course, negative two and negative seven as our output, like this. All right. Now, is a relation a function? Let What is a function? So, let's define it first. So, according to a textbook, a function is a relation in which every input has exactly one output. Okay? Now, focus on the x coordinates when given a relation. If the set of ordered pairs has different x coordinates, it is a function. If the set ordered pairs has the same x coordinates, it is not a function. So, y-coordinates have no bearing in determining function, okay? So, for example, we have number 3. Now, the question is, is this a relation? Of course, yes. Is this a function? Look at the, only at the x-coordinates, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yes, it is a function. Now, why? Because they have 1 and 1. So, later, more or later examples, we will discuss this. Okay, so example number 4. So, is this a function? So, looking at this um, uh, ordered pairs here, no? So, look at the x-coordinates. So, for the x-coordinates, we have negative 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, negative 2. So, as you can see here, we have two uh, zeros repeated. Now, is this a function? No. Is this a relation? Of course, yes. But it's not a function because two of the x coordinates are being repeated. Okay? It's okay for y to be repeated, but not for x. Okay? Now, which relation mapping represent a function? Choice 1 or choice 2? So, our answer would be choice 1. Why? Because our x coordinates has only uh, 1, no? So, we partner here. No, unlike y, okay? Unlike here, um, okay? So, it's, uh, no, it's better na ang y natin is have two partners, unlike x. No, hindi pwede na ang x natin has uh, two partners or two or more partners like that. No, it's not a function alone. Okay, which relation mapping represent a function? So, let's have this one, A. Of course, we have here and here, no? So, it's A or B. What do you think? The answer is B. Okay? No? It's obvious. For here, the domain has its all partner in all the range. 
but the rains here no all the main but streets to one could be but not as two is to three no two three is to two could be but not two is to three okay the side so um we cannot interchange that's better for x to have ladder partners but never the range it's like woman to man so man sometimes so if x is a man he is allowed to have uh, more than one um women no um, the society calls for it but <clears throat> no um a woman cannot have three partners at a time see that's it okay next let's have a vertical line test so vertical line test is a relation is a function if a vertical drawn to its graph passes through only one point okay so it's also known as the pencil test take a pencil and move it from left to right from x to x if it crosses more than one point it is not a function okay so we have the vertical line what is would this graph be a function so let's see okay is this a function right the answer is yes okay all right so let's have this one now would this be a would this graph be a function okay so to the vertical line test okay the answer is no because it passes through a several points okay so linear functions can have discrete rates or continuous rates so discrete rates can have uh, only certain values and no values in between continuous rates can have interval between values including function functional values now example time time is um continuous number of people is um discrete buying apples is discrete and area is also continuous okay so what's the difference between continuous data you can tell that your data is discrete if you have counting or measuring and whole numbers example number of people cars or stories of a building if your data is discrete then you will not connect the the points on the your graph okay <clears throat> just like all the data and then uh data that is continuous data that continuously happens so you can usually tell that your data is continuous or you are measuring something time let's just time distance length and height or if your data is continuous then you will connect the points of the graph wait wait all right so let's see how the discrete and continuous are uh, related to our uh, relation so is the following function discrete or a continuous so what is the domain and what is the range so first here now this data is a type is discrete because it has a discrete numbers no and domains are negative uh, se seven here no negative uh, one five seven eight ten so it's look at here no and of course the domain as one zero negative seven five two and eight so just like i know this point now how would you know that these are the ones so just look at the the um, coordinates where this belongs so we have eight and two like the here no eight and two yes okay that's why it's discrete hmm. next is the following function discrete or continuous so what is the domain and what's the range so this is a type of a continuous <clears throat> the domain are negative 8 and 8 like here no okay this one of course and neg the range is negative 6 negative 6 and 6 okay now is the function the following function is discrete or continuous what's the domain and what's the range so this type is uh, continuous 
and the domain is 0 and 45 so 0 to 45 here and the range is um, 10 no because uh, it's from 10 and then it becomes 70 or 45 10 no okay next is the following function concrete or discrete or continuous of course this one is con discrete of course it has a proper alignment no where the point is of course the domain can be read here so we remember that x values are the domain and the y values are the range okay so this is how to get it all right so let's determine whether the following relation is a function so right if it's if it's an okay now this one here so we could see here no we have the endpoint here and of course we have now if you are going to, to ask me if it is a function um it has of course the x and the y you know the x is four and the y is four and here negative negative four and positive one okay so it this is f okay and number two for input and output of course this is function right okay f because your x here has many y's and or the input okay so these are function uh, okay so we have here so this is also example of a function okay so for your journal writing remember minds are like parachutes the only function when you open from Thomas Denver very really good so of course uh, minds really do not function if you are not using it so better use your mind properly okay